everyone, Behavior Hackers here. I'm Victoria. And I'm Ingrid. <laughs> what happened? The internet connection, you just blocked, sorry. <laughs> this is a real struggle. It is a real struggle. We are self-distancing and it's so difficult to be able to do uh, videos where we are together when we're not together. So I'm in my place, um, sipping some wine, <laughs> being very far away from everyone for a very long time until it's safer so we can flatten the curve how is it over there um ingrid well i'm good i'm currently having a coffee as i have no wine left in my house uh but i do have this really cool hand sanitizer which has glitter and it got me super excited excited i don't know if you can see it but yeah it's really cool and it smells amazing <laughs> okay so Today we want to talk to you about one of the advice that we've been uh, given from the specialist, which is not touch your face. So firstly, uh, we want to explain to you why we have the urge to touch our face and why is it so hard to stop. Uh, so as you might know, everybody does it. We, we do it uh, when we're in a womb. And every single animal species do it as well. So it's kind of an innate behavior and research shows that actually you do this to calm you down by touching certain pressure points. And also, we also learn this behavior from our parents. So as you might know, when we're, when we're young, we copy the behavior that we see around us. Uh, and of course, this is one behavior that we copy as well. I want you to use this uh, video where we're talking to you about not touching your face and hopefully maybe you can count how many times we have touched our faces. It is very, very difficult, especially if you're a woman uh, or if you're a man with long hair um, and then you have to constantly be pulling your hair to the sides or if you wear makeup and it itches or it moves around. Um, so many things it's just our natural thing when we're frustrated like how ingrid was explaining uh we would potentially do like this so touch some pressure points self-soothe um ourselves self-soothing is that uh, behavior that we do when we want trying we, we are trying to calm ourselves down and we do this you see babies you know uh sucking their thumb um cats love to touch their faces as well you see this behavior everywhere and so i uh think that it's time for us to give you a few tips on how not to touch your face because it is very hard okay so the first one is a try and wear a scarf so as you can see if I have a scarf and I, let's say I want to touch my face now, I will feel sort of like a block. So this will remind me actually, you know, stop touching your face. Because like we said earlier, because it's an innate behavior, just by telling ourselves, I can't do this because it's bad for me, it's not actually gonna do anything. If you are a person that wears makeup, wear less makeup. And if you have long hair, put your hair on a ponytail. Wear sunglasses, because if you have sunglasses, that means that if you're gonna approach your face, no, and it will remind you, not touch your face, do not touch your face. Fourth one is wear a hat. This will obviously stop you to touch your face. <laughs> Find a friend that tells you off every time you're touching your face. Or option number two, if you don't have a gun toy, uh, around the house, try a spatula every single time you see your friend touches their face. Make sure to open a hole so you can see people. But you will never ever touch your face with this. Last but not least, find yourself a really good book and just lost your head inside it. Although we had loads of fun making this video, on a serious note, just try to be more aware of every time you touch your face and then you're gonna do it less and less and less. 
and i hope you had fun with us and you actually learned something valuable from it and i'll see you guys soon stay tuned bye for now